hi everyone this is shubha and today we are in iit mandi we just reached today and i would like to inform you that accidentally we just came to know that today it's tamil new year and one of the renowned professors of iit mandi he's from uh, school of chemical sciences yes yeah. so professor venkata krishnan is here with yes. us and i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing your name wrong because uh, that's no, always no, <laughs> okay so sir can you just tell the students about your background sure yeah my, my name is vinta krishnan so i work here as a professor in the school of chemical sciences here at iit mandi and it has been around 11 years i am here okay. and uh, basically i am from tamil nadu from a place called coimbatore so that's how i, I am participating in the tamil new year day here at iit mandi so uh, i did my bachelor's and masters from coimbatore and then uh, i went to university of stuttgart in germany to obtain my phd in chemical sciences subsequently i did uh, my first post doctoral research at the university of pennsylvania in usa which is a ivy league institution subsequently i went to uh, national institute for material science which is located in tsukuba in japan and i stayed there for 2 years and before coming to iit mandi in 2012 so uh, in the again incidentally in the month of april so i have just completed 11 years here at iit mandi congratulations on 11 years Thank okay you. so we were fascinated that how beautifully they are covering out this uh, whole program and all that so can you just Great. tell out the reason that why tamil new year is celebrated on this day yeah tamil um, culture is very different uh, compared to many other cult cultures so we follow a different calendar so uh, um, although we are all from india we follow different different calendars and tamil calendar is something which is very unique and usually the tamil new year day falls in the middle of april so uh, right now we are, uh, we are celebrating the tamil new year day and the tamil calendar goes for 60 years okay. so this is the so, subhakratu kam uh, uh, calendar which is getting started so uh, every 60 years the uh, same uh, calendar will repeat so this is something which is very unique and uh, incidentally tamil new year day for, uh, falls also on the new year day of west bengal as well as uh, the punjabi new year day the baisakhi as well yeah it's a baisakhi today also and exactly. it's a teen april on baisakhi and yes, uh, yes. today it's uh, i think you told tamil new year and tomorrow it's tomorrow bengali. is the bengali new year bengali so it right follows on, the sequence so right? it follows um, almost on the same day and sometimes it happens uh, one day um, uh, before an overlapping is also uh, overlapping there. is yeah. also there okay exactly. so every year you celebrate like this like students are all uh, welcoming and uh, uh, there are very few tamil students uh, here at iit mandi so incidentally this is the first time uh, uh, event of this big uh, level is being getting celebrated otherwise there are a couple of uh, families uh, who are from tamil speaking uh, regions and also there are few uh, students who uh, speak tamil it's more of a smaller level event and this time it's having uh, we are having it at a much bigger level we are blessed to enjoy this fest that we yeah, just came welcome. and we are uh, so it's so welcoming so Great. before i head on like uh, i want to shift it out to vijendra sir Okay, Professor Venkata Krishnan. Uh, first of all, thanks a lot for such wonderful hospitality. So, I have a couple of things to ask you, Professor. One is Tamil Nadu is, as we know, the climate of Coimbatore and all is not that chilled, that cold. Yeah. So, uh, it's uh, almost nine years. You said you are here. Two years, eleven sir, years. 11 sorry. Years, so, you have been in Stuttgart. I understand that is very chilled environment over there. Yes. But what about the students from deep south? I mean, from Tamil yeah. Nadu. How do they find climate and how do they acclimatize to the uh, you know weather of IIT Mandi here? Yeah, uh, Tamil Nadu it's uh, um, it's more warmer compared yes. to Himachal. Yes. So uh, there things are uh, the culture is different and also the climatic conditions are different. Uh, yeah. And also Tamil Nadu has a lot of uh, different educational institutions. Yes. So most of the Tamil people they tend to study in those institutions. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, IIT Mandi is something special mm -hmm. because uh, of being an IIT and it's right. also the only iit which is situated in the himalayan re region yes so it's a, it's a very nice place and we have a lot of facilities to offer and nowadays we are seeing a lot of inflow of students yes. right from down south to yes. uh, himachal uh, yes. iit mandi yes. for various programs uh, mm. we have btech programs we have mtech programs we PhD also programs. have uh, phd programs so yes. almost uh, a lot of programs are there and several people are coming from tamil nadu yeah. and also many other places in yeah. india so i'm very sure they enjoy their stay uh, in iit mandi definitely okay professor yeah. you also mentioned about the school of chemical sciences exactly so normally we have you know chemical engineering as a different department and chemistry as a different department so do we mean school of chemical engineering means amalgamation of chemical engineering and chemistry and all 
so in uh, um, currently at iit mandi we do not have yes. a department the culture at all yeah. we only have certain schools schools, uh, yeah. schools are a, a broader level bo- body yeah. and um, uh, we still do not have a chemical engineering as a branch yeah. so we have predominantly chemistry okay. and the school of chemical sciences has been uh, recently um, uh, kind of created from yeah. the overall school of uh, basic sciences okay. earlier we used to have four schools which are the school of basic sciences school of uh, humanities and social sciences school of engineering and also the, um, the, the there is one 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 more school this is the school of computing and electrical, electrical engineering. engineering yeah and right now we have nine schools okay and one of the school is the school of Ke- chemical sciences and school of chemical sciences offers uh, programs such as msc in chemistry okay. and from this academic year onwards we will also be offering a bs program in ke- chemical sciences okay uh, and this is a new program this is these programs are in addition to the phd level programs which are offered by almost all the schools at iit okay so professor for student who is from uh, chemistry background can you please throw some light on what kind of uh, you know research areas you will get uh, opportunity to work in once he joins iit mandi exactly so um, within the field of uh, chemical sciences we work on physical chemistry organic chemistry inorganic chemistry and also yeah. material materials chemistry in addition yeah. to theoretical and computational chemistry yeah. so there are several branches in chemistry and we have faculties uh, having relevant experience and expertise mm-hmm. in all the different branches of chemistry mm-hmm. so as on date we have 12 faculty members and we will okay. soon be adding another six more faculty members in our school okay. so we are, there is a lot of potential and a lot of research capabilities and the, for the students who are doing their msc studies here right. they have a, a bright future because they could uh, go for uh, uh, um, gate or net examination and subsequently mm. do a phd yeah. uh, research in india either at mm. iit mandi or mm. at any other institution in mm. india mm. Uh, many of our students also appear for gre and toefl examination mm. to mm. do a phd abroad in the us and many uh, other students are also going abroad to germany yes. finland yes. and uh, many other countries to do their higher studies mm. apart from that there is also a lot of uh, job prospects mm-hmm. so some of our students have been placed in ongc mm-hmm. and also several mini ratna and uh, mm-hmm. navratna mm-hmm. companies okay. so there is a lot of prospects for our stu- students after doing msc in chemistry mm. i'm very sure we expect the same uh, to be followed for the bs chemical sciences which will be for starting okay so we are year. starting from this academic year this academic year okay bs in chemical sciences bs in chemical sciences okay. exactly so so how that bs in chemical sciences is going to be different from uh, you know btec in chemical engineering professor uh, btec in chemical engineering uh, the there that the the, uh, the nature of the courses the uh, mm-hmm. academic curriculum will be very much different compared okay. to the ones which um, um, uh, we are going to offer the bs in chemical sciences mm-hmm. uh, our um, uh, course in chemical sciences will be more engraved in science okay. engraved mm-hmm. in science and mm-hmm. also um, this will also provide an opportunity for our students to do uh, laboratory work okay the chemical engineering uh, as i'm not directly from that area i cannot comment much mm-hmm. about that mm-hmm. but if my understanding is correct there it would be more of an engineering focus yes. here it would be more of a science focus mm-hmm. okay this is more research oriented exactly. that may be more application oriented yes so true. do we have such kind of course professor anywhere else in india yeah a couple of other iits like iit jodhpur is having this course okay. and mm. uh, so uh, some of the other iits are also planning to start this course uh, mm. uh, bachelor's course in um, uh, chemical sciences and this is in accordance with uh, the nep the new mm. education policy mm. of 2020 mm. so we are following uh, that type of a policy so that mm. there could be an entry exit and uh, choice based credit mm-hmm. system so wherein the student has the liberty to mm. choose and study mm. whatever courses they desire mm. to wonderful professor so we have come to an end of this wonderful session uh, my last point to you is uh, any message you want to give to students especially from tamil nadu okay uh, the students will be brave enough to come to iit mandi uh, because it's a uh, very uh, unique place uh, although people call it remote but once you come here it's a very beautiful place you can be uh, you can enjoy a lot of things a lot of uh, natural sceneries uh, a lot lo- lot of be- beautiful views plus you will have uh, an opportunity to touch and use many equipments because we are in a much more open culture uh, with regard to science and research so uh, you are most welcome to come to iit mandi and explore the boundaries of science thanks a lot professor thank you, thank you very much